Welcome back to the Jeremiah Show. We are uh, broadcasting from Ireland. <laughs> uh, at least one of us is. I, I, Port on the Galloway, Ireland. We're hanging out with PMAD, a.k.a. Paul Dillon. Paul's staying up late with us tonight. We're spinning his new record, I in Power. You can pick it up right now. If you can't wait for the end of the show, go to Bandcamp, pmad.com bandcamp.com you can also check out his website if you're uh, listening to us on streaming radio go to pmadtheband.com you'll find a lot of good stuff like some good merch pmad's wearing a nice sweater there i'm gonna have to go on there and get one of those <laughs> okay so welcome back pmad paul how how you doing I'm oh, still good. Still delighted to be with you, the Jeremiah Show. Wow, I'm, I'm still <laughs> but, uh, I'm flushing here. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, that's good. actually good that you're not that you just didn't disappear at the break. I appreciate you coming back. Oh, God, no. God, God no. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about your new album, I and Team, and yet if you're just joining us, uh, Paul described what the meaning behind the new album. Um, What's the overall theme, Paul? I suppose, yeah, I, I jump across from, uh, it's mostly about um, us as a people, I don't know, uh, me generally maybe, and I'm trying to improve myself and things, but the confession of, you know, Kathleen, uh, we need to forgive and forget and get over things and, uh, you know, she, what my sister was always great he said, you know someone would eat her or give out to her or something like that and she said I don't mind it you know there's something else wrong with that person today you know and yeah no, we can't be all happy all the time and it's okay and um, so you're on to listening to other people with opinions and confession and uh, then you're on to the bully you know minding yourself with sword and and uh, you know bullying and things like that and uh, why are we so mean to each other and then we're missing the new one as well. It's a bit like that as well. We're we're mean to people while we have them, and then we're sorry they're gone. You know, what did you think was right. going to happen? Right. You know, uh, so yeah, we got it. You lost your sister, is that? Yeah, she, she, you she dropped dead one day. There, forty-two years of age. Yeah, just uh, she was driving oh, in the car and rang my other sister to say, "Yeah, got a penny me back." And that was it. Then, yeah. So, uh, yeah. But would you mind if we dedicate this episode to her? Oh, that's probably she'd only be delighted. She'd be laughing down on us. <laughs> well, perfect. Let's do. Let's let's make her laugh. Let's make your sister laugh. Yeah, What's will, her yeah. name? Uh, Kira. 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 So sisters would be about her, then I suppose as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and and sisters, the other sisters. Yes. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, she'd be. I don't know. You know, we're all delighted about people and we all love them. You go to a funeral and say they were wonderful people, but why didn't you say it when they were freaking alive, you know? Isn't that true? I just had a friend pass and I, oh. we were talking about doing a, a show, to this episode, a special episode about this restaurant oh. that we worked at together. And we talked about it for months and months and months and months and we we're both excited and we never did it. And then he, <laughs> I, I found out he passed away and I thought, yeah. and sorry, that's sore in hands. And I'll let me go ahead and say his name, but um it's true you know it's like you we take each other i don't know if we take each other for granted but we don't realize how precious the time is i guess and what should be said when it can be said and all that so i, I agree That's, with you on that just say it and, and if it's and if it's good sure it can't be but re, uh, relatable and good you know so you said of, of the new album it's a play on in the last segment you were you were explaining yes. that the the name i uh that there's no it's a play on the on the saying there's no i in team yes, yes. Um, so but, yeah. go ahead no 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 it, yeah it's just a play because just because you're in a team you can still be i and uh you can be the powerful one in the team or you can be part of the team but we're all eyes and there's nothing wrong with being you know i'm in power you know i, I still don't be walked on in the team and don't, you know, just be strong for yourself. You're a powerful person, no matter who you are or what you are. And don't forget it. And I, I feel really, as I get older, that you're even more powerful 
you don't need to assert your opinion or your, uh, you know, what you believe in everything and try to convince somebody. I, I find that the power comes from listening more now. And that's such a hard thing to do. I think for all of us, we all want to talk, <laughs> but to listen, that's a skill. And the Irish saying is you got two ears and one mouth, you know, listen twice as much as you speak. Uh, I, I, I do. I love the Irish. <laughs> I noticed that you choose titles for your songs with one word. Um, and I love that because it's hard. It's like, Oh, it's almost like, uh, you know, remember Twitter when you had to do so many words, you could, and then you're like, Oh, I can't, how do I, how do I even come up with one sentence now to take it even further and do one word to describe up a, describe a song or a feeling. Um, is it hard for you to do that? Is that something that it seems like it's discipline as well? well yeah, it's, it's in my head. Some of the times the songs are, what does it sound like? And I would just, it's just a working title. And what really kills my, a lot of families, the word isn't even in the song. Jeez, what did you do? <laughs> How am I going to remember that, you know? So, um, yeah, it's, it's the only one I have with more than one is Who Am I, the first, my debut single. That was the only one that has any more than one word. And uh, I think you should stick with it. I like the one. I, mean, I have, I have it continued cool. for the next, because I even have a song coming out, like 9.45, but it's just 9.45, you know. It's <laughs> all one <laughs> so, word as well, so, yeah. So this made me think about you. I was curious, um, in your mind, do your thoughts, Paul, do they, do they become short word play? Um, like, you know, do you, do you like, go ahead. No, like, no, are no, you no. Think, like short, concise, you know? Yeah. I, I, I like to, 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 I, I, people say, how do you keep track? Cause I'm an Excel freak. I love Excel and I just keep, you know, so it's the only way you can keep track of things. And so, one word you will only fit so much in that box in Excel. You know? So yeah. I find it easy to put uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, that's grand. Yeah, medicine broken. You know, and to and to make relationships, I always think it, it's one word. Jeremiah, Paul, that's a relationship. It's not the Jeremiah show. It's not yeah. Paul Dylan. It's my friend Jeremiah. Yeah, you know, and it's one word, and it's very important to me that it's it's, it's conciseness and people that are close to you and, and things. You don't go around having forty words to describe your friend. You know, that's John, that's Michael, true. Paul. You know, yeah. so uh, it, it and it makes it easier for an old man like me to remember. <laughs> well, yeah, that is that's a really interesting thought. You're right. I mean, there's so much to you. I, I know Paul now. I know PMAD. And, and I'm going to, when I just say your name, I'm going to think about all the things I know about you, know, the conversations and the, the way your music made me feel or how you made me feel. That's right. It's your, your name. And you're, so the, you carry that to a song. And I really like that connection. It's like that's what that song makes you feel. It's that one word that even if it's not in the, the lyrics, you know, that's what you felt and hopefully the, the, your listener feels. Do you think in lyrics? I think Do you find makes... yourself thinking in, like lyrically? Yeah. Like you I find I find a lot of um, is actually miss hearing lyrics. I, I, I've sang songs and as I get older, I heard a couple of songs and older songs there uh, recently, and I listened to them. I said, geez, if I knew that when I was younger, I, I wouldn't be allowed to listen to it. You know, I didn't understand what they were talking about. I said, oh, geez, that's terrible. Um, I don't know. I, I can't remember the song, but I've, I've missed sung and misheard lyrics and I've written them down then afterwards to say, if I say it as I heard it, not what they sang it in these lyrics, but I misheard it. And if I sing it in my style, it's still a great line and it's not nicking it from, it's not stealing it from them. You know? If that's mm -hmm. the case, yeah, and then I turn it around again because it won't work. But um, yeah, it's I think in lyrics, yeah, I was uh, same with COVID. People tell you about mindfulness and journaling and all the other different things in life. I always had uh, a piece of paper or and loads of paper uh, or a cassette or phones and dictaphones and things, and you'd say stuff into it, you know, and that was my journaling before it ever occurred and there were lyrics there were always lyrics and say geez that sound good uh, but i hadn't the talent to do it you know mm. anyway we're getting there i find my and your lyrics are going to be some that i add to my i'll think i'll be in a situation and a lyric 
<laughs> comes through my head that describes the scene I'm looking at or I'm in. Um, how about this? This is just a new thought I've had recently, and I've, I've only you might be the first person I've asked, but I do you as a musician and as an artist, do you think or do you dream when you dream? Do you dream in melodies or can you hear the melodies come to you in your dreams? I wake up in the middle of the night, jump out of the bed and run downstairs and write it down or play something before I forget it. Cause so it does come to you there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, definitely. I was like, oh, Christ. Yeah, get down quick. Write that down. And then, oh, yeah, loads and loads of stuff. And then you try and get up in the morning and read your night scrawl, you know. <laughs> You're like, what? what the hell does that mean? It's does like it, a heavy how night drinking out? years ago. Say, we saved the world, but I can't remember what we did <laughs> or, or said to save it. I discovered the meaning of life, but I just yeah, didn't yeah. write it down. I should have wrote it down. <laughs> how often do these melodies turn into songs or, or are you able to use them? I'd say all of the third album will be all, because it was previous stuff up to nearly all of it. I am power and who I were what, but the new album, which I'm working title is one plus one equals minus one. Anyway, that's the, the working title. And I, all these songs are all new from new thoughts and new, I've scrapped all before and everything is new. And uh, yeah, so everything is nearly jumping out of bed and say, Oh yeah, that'll work there. And that'll work there. And, I'm off the cuff, so that's the thing, you know. Just... <laughs> well, it's working for you. We love it. Uh, we we actually played two songs in this segment here from Who, Why, Where, and What, your first album. We came in, Paul, with Broken, and we're leaving right now. We're going to go take our another break here, but we're going out with Medicine, which you had mentioned earlier. Anything you'd like to, to yeah, tell the... the listener about Medicine off of your yeah. first debut album? It was probably one of the most, uh, I don't know, stuck in my head and meant most to me at the time when I was doing it. But then you go on to the next song. It was probably, it was the second song I, I wrote for myself and came up with. And it was longer and longer because I love New Order and all these things and 12 inch ex extended play songs. But I had to cut it back or people would kill me. And they didn't know me. This anyway. is your longest, is this your longest song? I thought it was. No, I have I Sister's looking. extended version now, which oh, is, is even longer, okay. about six minutes. And, uh, but this yeah, is, this is five, about five minutes, or so. five, yeah. And it is yeah. long. And, and maybe annoying people. But there is a radio edit if you're stuck uh, for time. But no, yeah, actually, it's... I took the clip from the end of this when I played because it builds. And it I'm like, does, okay, yes. I like the first one. And I'm like, the first part. First minute, and I'm like, oh, no, I love the middle section. I got to play this because I can't play the whole thing. And then I'm like, no, 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 hold on. <laughs> the end, it's building, it's building. So it I have to play there. that. It's, yeah. it's, the, it's the medicine. It's like the the medicine. Uh, my, the medicine for me at the time was pints and drink. And uh, I liked this. And it was no good. I, I, I was a good drunk, actually. I fell asleep, and that was okay. I didn't hit anyone or do anything. But it does ruin you. It doesn't do you any, you know, everything in moderation, even religion and stuff. So... Uh, I learned to to cope. Yes, yes, and do well for whatever this. Uh, each listener takes it and makes it their own. So make this your own. Here's medicine by P Mad. And real quickly, I'm going to give out the information again where you can find P Mad and where you can find the new album. The new album is I in Power. It's a collection of eight brand new original tracks from PMAT. It's his second album. You're really going to enjoy it as you uh, as you see as you're listening to the show. You're going to uh, get a little little taste of it, uh, a little taste of your own medicine here. And you definitely want to go check out both albums. You can go uh, to his website, PMAD's website, which is pmadtheband.com, but you can uh, pick up and and purchase on Bandcamp, pmad.bandcamp.com. And if I'm not uh, mistaken, most most of the money, I think about 72% or so, goes to the artist. So buy your music on Bandcamp. I'm going to promote that. I know you don't make a lot on streaming, but if that's how you get it to, go to Spotify and follow. Anywhere you get your music, follow PMAD. And let's, uh, let's support this terrific artist that's on the show today. We'll be right back with more from PMAT. And again, here is Medicine. <laughs> 